Hello, it's Jess. We stayed at the Disney Newport Bay Club Hotel, so you'll be seeing the food and drinks available at the buffet breakfast and our thoughts on the food and whether it's worth it. First, here's a summary of how we rated the breakfast. Now let's take a look at the food. There was a wide assortment of breads available and this cake with a Mickey Mouse head shape in it. It tasted like a vanilla cake with a chocolate cake center and it was delicious, not too dense and just moist enough. For the bread, there's a variety of spreads including Nutella. We really liked the croissants and the pan au chocolat. The round bread that you see here was tasty too. I liked the texture and how they sprinkled some sugar on top. You can also get vegan croissants on request. You can also make toast as well and there's a selection of cheese and cold meats. There's fresh raw tomatoes, pickles and cold boiled eggs. There's also several options of yogurt available with different flavors. Moving on to the hot food. There are some seriously cute Mickey Mouse shaped waffles which look amazing but sadly doesn't taste very good. It's quite hard and chewy. If you have been to Walt Disney World then Mickey waffles are so much better. If you're a fan of pancakes then you can also get some freshly made ones. Just check out this self serve pancake machine, it's just so cool. I recommend waiting for the fresh ones but it does take a little time. As for the crepes, we didn't really like the taste and so I wouldn't recommend those. There's plant-based sausages available, roast tomatoes and potatoes, as well as baked beans. The bacon was great, not overcooked and just how we like them. There's also chicken veal sausages which were pretty good. You can also make your own boiled eggs and there's porridge as well. It's so great that they have fresh fruit available, including oranges, apples, and kiwis, and also fruit salad. There's also organic apple puree. If you are debating on whether to add a meal plan, I'll be doing a video on whether the half board meal plan is worth it, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video. In terms of drinks, there's a coffee machine which also makes hot chocolate. There's a selection of teas with sliced lemons available. Also, you can get cold milk and different juices, for example, apple juice and orange juice. There's also a machine to get cold water. Breakfast is served at both the restaurants in the hotel, so Cape Cod and the Yacht Club restaurants. Breakfast is served from 7 to 11. You are directed to one of these restaurants as you enter here, and I thought the breakfast food was the same in both restaurants. The restaurants have a nautical theme, for example, the carpet pattern that you see here, but I feel like there could be more theming in the restaurant and there's only really two items that are Mickey Mouse shaped. Overall, I'd give it four stars for breakfast. We liked most of the food, the self-serve pancake machine was super cool. It's a shame that the Mickey waffles didn't taste as great as they looked. There's also a wide range of food to choose from, the service was pretty good, the staff were friendly and quick to seat us at a table and cleared the plates promptly. It was also clean where the food was served and in the seating area. Is it worth it? Well, it depends. If you only add breakfast to your booking, it costs roughly £25 for an adult and around £21 for a child. In my personal opinion, that's quite expensive, so it wouldn't be worth it for me as there are cheaper options available, for example, McDonald's or the Earl of Sandwich in the Disney Village. However, if you have the half board package, then it could be worth it depending on what restaurants you eat your lunch or dinner at. I'll discuss that in detail in a future video. If you are also considering staying at another Disneyland Paris hotel, don't forget to check out my review of the Disney Santa Fe Hotel. I also show the buffet breakfast options in that video. Thanks for watching! If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe.